<laughs> What's up, man? Radio Raheem with Joseph Parker. I heard you're going by Explosive Joseph Parker now. Uh, am I? You know what Zhang said? What did Zhang say? He said, um, "Chat." Oh, chat. Shit, get Zhang. Yeah. <laughs> so this fight, I I know what I have to do. I have to be smart. I have to be quick. I have to be patient. I have to pick my shots, and I have to be explosive. Well, you're no stranger to heavy punchers, and having gotten a huge upset last time out, is this like your new thing? You you, you have the, the key to the big punch? You know, they always say a happy fighter is a dangerous fighter, and I have uh, the, I have a great team who I have full belief in the training that we've done. I've done everything right, and now it's time to go out there and just enjoy and be part of this great moment of, of boxing. Do you think it's fair that there's a one-way uh, rematch clause? Like you say, you can go out and enjoy it, but really, you can't because when the fight's over, you might have to do it again. I, I Listen, it's all part of boxing business. It's, you either take the fight and, or you don't get the fight. So my, I, I back myself and I know what I can do. So I took the fight knowing that there's a rematch clause. So I just have to, I have to beat him twice in order to move on. Do you feel like the way you fought Wilder will work with Zhang? I mean, we, we were impressed with your footwork, your over-the-top oh, punching. Different. It'll be a, a lot different. Uh, Zhang being southpaw, and also Zhang likes to come forward, which is what Wilder used to do. So it's going to be a different strategy and a different fight, different plan. Um, and I'm hoping to get it all right on fight night. Joe, one thing I didn't ask you about yesterday is a lot of people talk about Zhang's fitness and if maybe in the second half of the fight he might start to tire. Is that something which you've taken into consideration? Listen, I'm not, not banking on Zhang getting tired. I want Zhang to be there for the full 12 rounds. Like, you want the best version of Zhang because yeah, I'm going to bring the best version of myself. So if he gets tired or not, um, I'll leave it to him and his team. They, I'm sure they know what they're doing. I just want to ask you, when you fought Joe Joyce after the fight, a lot of people said maybe Joseph Parker's done at the top. We see you now and you seem to be one of the names that everyone wants to fight. What changed, what sort of changed in your mentality, what changed in the team for you to push yourself and fight back at the top? Listen, it was the fight with Joe Joyce, which uh, didn't go my way, and it was his night, congrats to him. And then I had the fight with Jack Massey, still I got the win, but it wasn't a great performance. Then I had to change things in camp. I had Andy Lee as head trainer, who did an amazing job, and I got George Lockhart on board and, and I feel like these two together have made the best change in my career. Fitness wise, strength wise, confidence, everything. It looks like the titles are going to be tied up for a while. Anthony Joshua is going to be tied up for a while. What are your goals if you beat Zhang? Where are you looking to go? Beat Zhang, beat Zhang again and then listen whatever happens but I'm not really looking to, I don't want to be, I want to be champion of the world and unified champion all of that but one fight at a time, one fight at a time for me. Is it easier to have that type of mentality, Virgil, when you're seeing all of these big nights being put on and you're seeing how the heavyweight division is unfolding? Is it difficult to just look at it one fight at a time? It's not difficult because in, in order to like to get better and move on and get another big fight, you have to win. So the most important thing now is just to focus on Zhang and win. You said to me before you fought Deontay Wilder that AJ was a tougher test than Wilder in your career. Where does Zhang Zhang rank on your resume? Zhang's going to be another tough test, a different test, and even like, coming off two great wins off Joe Joyce. Like, we saw the power that he possesses and what he can do, so it's a, it's a big challenge and a big test and a different test to the Deontay Wilder fight. Last question. With, with you. The final one. I just want to talk about the main event. You faced Anthony Joshua all them years ago, and you know what he possesses in the ring. We saw Francis Ngannou against your friend Tyson Fury. What happens in this main event? I have no idea. You know what? You would think Joshua's going to win because of the time he's had in boxing, but Francis Ngannou is a beast himself. can take so many shots, whatever it is, kick, elbow, punch, whatever. And he, he hasn't been uh, knocked out or taken down, so it's going to be interesting to see if Joshua can hurt him. And lastly, at this level of confidence with the team you have now, do you feel like if you had this situation when you fought Joshua the first time, you would have been able to beat him? Listen. If I, if I had what I have now, I'd be, I would have been a different fighter then, but I'm glad that I have it now and I'm, and I'm uh, making better moves and better changes and, and better steps moving forward. Is the best Parker we've seen? This is the best Parker, yes. Good luck Saturday night. Thanks a lot.